Okay, is it good? Because I was checking just, just to be sure. Well guys, Robert here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are... This is, Q, this is my Q&A episode 5. And, uh, and y'all are probably like, oh crap. Gameplay, finally. When, it comes, when it's coming to my channel. And I'm playing Mortal Kombat X. Or Mortal Kombat XL since it, it's now called that. After the new fucking update with the DLC and shit. Um, and yes, y'all are probably like, Wait, you don't got the fucking DLC? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> eh, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if I got guys, guys like fucking Tremor, Tanya, fucking Predator, Jason Voorhees, fucking Xenomorph out this bitch. I mean, come on. You, you can do fucking Alien vs. Predator in, in this game. Um, I, I would love to get it, but I just feel like. I mean, I would love to get those characters, but the thing is, I find downloadable characters pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, okay. So the starter starter song I'm gonna play is my favorite Mortal Kombat character, Liu Kang. While we're going through the Q and A video, and it's the and and during this Q and A video, I'm gonna be answering questions that for people that you know participated. In this, and I got like five questions, most likely as always, since I don't normally get it, get it, get it, get a lot now nowadays. Because I actually thought I would get, you know, probably a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit more. But yeah. But let's go ahead, pick my character, and play on normal, and just go through the whole Q and A video with a bunch of random ass fucking characters. I think with Luke looking as a scorpion, like that. That doesn't that sound like a pretty damn good match. Doesn't really fucking matter. Let's go. Okay, so first question uh, is, and I, and I, oh yeah, before we get, 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 get into the video, I just want to say, uh, not crap, I just dropped my phone accidentally. That's where I'm getting, getting the questions. Um, uh, the reason why is. Like what am I like? What am I doing now? This is like that's like what I'm always going going for every single video. Um, I'm doing good. Uh, it's almost a big a big test, so I should really, you know, get get get, get into that. But here's the thing: I really, uh, if y'all want to know like what anime I'm like watching now, um, I'm still watching Naruto, and I I finally got done with the tuning exams arc. Which, which I, I, I cannot believe it took at least like about literally 60 fuck, fucking episodes for that entire arc. And the thing is, if I had to compare it, like how good of an arc it is to me, I, I would probably say it's better than the than, than Soul Society arc of Bleach. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Bleach. And Soul Society arc is one of the best arcs I've ever seen in any anime. But, because, okay, like, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, it has a lot of kick, kick, kick ass action. It, I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the arc has a lot of, has some, has a lot of kick ass action, but it was mostly fo 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 focusing just around, 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 around the story and the characters more than the action. You know, those guys are really kick ass fights, like Ichigo versus uh, Kenpachi, Ichigo versus Byakuya, Yoroichi versus Soy Soy Phone. It's a it's a damn good arc, but it was mostly focusing around the characters and the story. And at at the time, I wasn't really bothered bothered by it. I mean, hell, I actually enjoyed that more than the action at the time. But the tuning exams arc, I find it better because it it's like half of it is just action, and the other half of it is just developing the characters in the story. And it's really fucking cool. I really I really enjoyed it, and it's. And it's just, it's just half, it's just half of its action, and half of it is just developing all these new characters, and and man, the final, and the final fights like, but 
don't get me wrong, it's not it's not a perfect arc. Tuning tuning exams really isn't because there was like a there was like a few times where it was there was like a couple times where it was slow. Especially like during during like I think it was like one of the fights in the climax with you know uh, the thorough Kage versus, versus Oro Orochimaru and it just got it just got a bit slow with like the final part of it. Like come on, I mean. I don't know if it's why it was like that in the manga, or that was just like straight up filler where it's just keeping up with the fight like every episode. But I, I just felt like it, it should have done like what Bleach did, where it it still focuses like on that one main fight in the climax, and just around just around the end of that one fight, just get back right to it. Okay. I mean, I understand why, but it's just gonna, it's gonna, gonna keep like a bit dragging out the fight. I, I'm just saying because. I mean, we've all seen that before in Dragon Dragon Ball Z. We all we all know that shit, but but yeah, I still find Tuning Exams arc uh, a better arc than a uh, Soul Society arc. That's but that that's just me, because I mean, it had a lot of really kick 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 ass fights. I mean, Sasuke and Naruto versus Gara that was a kick ass fight, even though there was like a couple transitions here and there that kind of took a took a took a break. Still really good at fight. Hinata versus Neji. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Neji versus Nar Naruto was. Uh, a, a, I mean, it was it was a decent fight. Okay, the final final part 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 of it, pretty epic. The start start of it was pretty epic. This it's just the middle of it that was fucking slow. I'm just saying. Because most of it most of the fight was just dialogue, but it was mostly revealing like about Neji. But still, it. I just felt like it could have just talked, then went back to fighting, then talked again, like like back and forth or something. I mean, at least put like some more action in it if it's gonna be like an actual fight. I mean, come on. That, but that that's just me, guys. But yeah, uh, but yeah. Also, I'm still watching Fairy Tale. I'm at like at the beginning of the Phantom Lord arc. I think that I think that's the arc at. Yeah, I think that's the arc that. I, Got chill, I think. That one guy, it's like mostly like in every single favorite of uh, fights in fairy tale list. I keep seeing that guy with like the freaking metal or something. Met, 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 metal ability. I can't. I don't, I'm not. I'm not gonna say his name because I'm probably gonna pronounce 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 his name wrong. I'm just saying because I don't want people just to freaking start yelling my ass, yelling my ass for. Pronouncing it wrong in the comments, but yeah. <clears throat> and also, I'm still watching Parasite. Pretty good so far, and and I cannot wait to watch more. But I'm mostly gonna. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I. That's those are the animes I'm watching now, and uh, yeah. Now with two fights oh, over with, let's get on with the actual list. Oh, and uh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot to mention. Um, now, okay, so, now y'all probably wondering, like, um, I, I, like, where's, like, where's, like, my Bleach review? Well, the thing is, I actually did a review, but the thing is, during the review, I just, I just felt bored, like, I, I just, since just that recently, I, I just been bored, like, it's just, like, reviews just, just wasn't as fun as I found him to, to, to be before and that really kind of threw threw me off a bit like 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 with the way I was acting through the video and I I, I just deleted the whole thing entirely because I, I I just did not want to feel I just want to look like I'm bored just you know I mean I ain't like Angry Joe where it's just you know there you know what I mean just like I mean, Angry Joe is always in the mood of like of reviewing because you know that as his job, and he's actually still been the same guy. But I mean, ever since, you know what I mean. But still, um. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be doing re reviews any anymore, which is which is actually gonna give me a chance of you know uploading more like stuff. I mean, I'm gonna, I am gonna keep this as keep keep this channel anime and manga related. Probably like reactions here and there, maybe. Uh, I am gonna be gonna try to do reactions, and uh, I am probably gonna be doing. Uh, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be doing. Uh, 
walkthroughs again. Yes, if y'all have followed follow my channel for a while since like 2014, I am bringing back walkthroughs of video games on my channel because you know I I'm actually because you know I'm a gamer, and and I and I love vi 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 video games, but I really I really enjoy the game because of its. I really enjoy like games because I, I actually really want to go back to walkthroughs because they were just so fun to go through. And I was actually thinking, you know what? Let's do Mass Effect. Yes, the Mass Effect game I reviewed just back in de de December, I think. And I'm going to try to walk, walk through the entire trilogy before An Andromeda comes out. And I actually cannot wait because, you know, I fucking love Ma Mass Effect. It's probably my favorite trilogy or in probably in my favorite franchise, video game franchise of all time, because I, I just fucking love it. So yeah, um, I'm bringing back walkthroughs. I'm still gonna be doing interdimensional here on on the channel. Y'all probably wondering when's the next episode coming out. Uh, most likely in May. I'm just I'm just saying because you know I just been busy with school and I'm trying to like keep my grades up. Trying to get, trying to trying to keep, and and there there are like a couple of grades I have to get up to, you know, before a big big test comes out. But it's mostly like math and reading. I, I I need I need to get, you know, you know, get them up at those. You know, what I mean, just. But because those uh the big tests is, is revolving around them uh, mostly, and just in there like, then what's the big point of science and history? Just, I'm just, just saying because they're like mostly the most most important ones. I'm I'm just saying, okay. But then again, I kind of understand why they put math math and reading. I'm just I'm just saying. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. So that's that's what I've been doing, and that's what like, I'm planning with for my channel reactions. But back back into walkthroughs and more anime and manga related stuff. This is this is basically my life channel, basically. You know what I mean? But yeah, so yeah. Okay, enough of that, and let's get along with the questions. And I and I actually had a friend, I had my friend Jeff E. He posted two questions, and he says, uh, "Let me look back at it again." Uh, I need I need I need to pause real quick. I'm very sorry. Oh, what the hell? Uh, my, my phone act, acts weird. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, okay. Would you rather have the ability to, to control vectors from a certain magical index, or the ability to, to use the Guilty Crown from Guilty Crown? Now, I actually thought thought about this, and actually I really did, did, did to be honest, because I, I mean, I've seen pictures of both vectors from and the uh, guilty crown from guilty crown and and the vectors from Star magical index and I haven't and the thing is I'm not gonna really choose I mean because I haven't seen both of those series but I actually plan on watching them though especially, especially guilty crown which I'm lo looking forward to the watch soon Pro probably when I'm done with parasite may pro probably because I'm a Huge, huge fan of action, and people say it's a lot like Code Geass. So, and I love Code Code, Code Geass. So, um, so I'm gonna most likely enjoy that. Uh, some people say it's a rip off. People say some people say it really isn't. It's just like its own thing. Uh, uh. So uh, I'm just gonna watch it for myself, and actually probably watch it at. I'm most likely gonna watch it when I'm done with the uh, Parasite. So yeah, um, so yeah, I I I don't really know. I, I am gonna watch both 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 of those series. I just don't. I just ain't gonna choose. I'm probably gonna probably at the time when I'm when I actually watch both of those, I'm probably gonna a a answer that question in the future. So yeah. Next and and the, and the next question for from Jeff Jeffy is. Let, let me pull this back, back, back up. Oh shit! Uh, accidentally clicked on another video. Would you rather be Edward Elric or be like Aaron Yeager? Be like Edward Elric 
or be like Aaron Yeager. I'd rather be like um, Edward L. L. Elric, I feel like, because I'm more like him in a way, because I, I, I'm just saying, okay? I'm most likely like a. I'd rather be like Edward Elric because, you know, I mean, I'm the type of guy that's. Because he's kind of close to my personality, and I like to keep as close to my personality as possible. So, yeah. And the thing is, like, I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy both, both characters, but I'd rather, I'd rather be like. Uh, uh, Edward Elric, though. I mean, don't get me wrong, Aaron Yeager is an awesome character. And I actually really like to be like him, where he's like Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach, where he's wants to, you know, be like this type of person. And if someone screws with you, you're going to want to take basically every, every, everybody out. You know, like everyone that's involved with them. I mean, you, you, know, what I mean? you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's most likely like that. But, yeah. So I'd rather be Edward Elward because I'm, I'm the type of guy that I like to keep as close to my personality as possible, though. Most likely because you know I'm the type of guy that that is mostly teased, and some people in Full Metal Alchemist actually tease at Edward L. Elward because of his uh because 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 of how because 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 of his height, and it's really hilarious. But then again, I kind of I do feel him because. I actually do get made fun 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 of a lot, but it's most likely from my uh from my uh step stepdad mostly because you know he like he like likes to screw with me a lot, and it's really fun funny you know. And so yeah, it's really <coughs> sorry sorry about that, but yeah, it's it's most likely where it's. Yeah, I'm also, I like to keep my personality as, as like the same as possible because I, I I I mean I am what I am, so I'm not 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 really gonna change that. And so yeah, I'd rather be like Edward Elric because I want to keep as close to my personality as possible, and you know, you know all all that stuff. So yeah, um. <clears throat> So yeah, so thank you, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thanks for the question, and now I'm going to move on to like the stuff from Twitter. So yeah, I'm moving on to Twitter, and I got two questions from a couple couple guys I know of. Uh, a Abia, which I'm probably going to say for last, because you know, because you know, <laughs> I'm going to go with Patheon Oxo, because he's a friend, friend, friend of mine, I really... I haven't really seen one of his videos in a while, man. I, I need to get back to like his uh I still need to get back into his uh I still need to get back into his friggin' arc series, man. I, I need to get back into those series and marathon that shit. Because you know, he's really he's actually pretty fun and fun to watch here and there. Like I mean he's still he's still still he's still a really cool, cool guy. If y'all want to check out his channel, it'll be in the link in the description down below, along with Jeff E and my friend Abia. Uh, well, they're, they're really, they're really cool guys. But a Abia's channel is mostly a combat channel now. He doesn't really get onto this a a anime channel. He he kind of rarely does now because it's been like a while since he actually uploaded one video. Uh, explaining like the, the difference between manga and a anime and all that. In that was like the last video I think he uploaded when it came to his anime channel. He does like predictions and uh, well, his other channel is actually his ABA combat channel. He actually, you know, what what he does like predictions or reviews of like these fight these fights uh, of like you know and, and, like they're not really WWE sports type of fights. They're kind of like women's fighting, you know, and and other. And other type and a couple other types. Don't worry, I'll leave, I'll leave his main channel in the description down below, so y'all can check him out. But anyway, from Patheon Oxo, what got you interested in anime? Uh, I think it was back when I was playing with uh, I think I think it was back when 
I think it was like after I watched uh, Death Note, where I was like, yes, like, I, 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 I mean, my, my face, I have no idea what like look on my face at the end of that series, man. That that was like probably the perfect ending, I think, for Death Note because like God, uh, like God, uh, God was coming coming for him. I, I, people say that he he deserved he deserved it a bit differently, but I I I don't know. Just saying, it's I don't know. I just feel I just feel okay with uh what 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 we got. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I feel okay for what we got, so, yeah. I mean, I feel like that's probably the best way, because, you know, he he didn't really, you know. And plus, people thought that the end ending was bullshit, but it actually makes a lot of sense. Like, people keep saying it's bullshit because Nier did this. And like, bruh. I mean, I mean, come on. But back on topic, it's, uh, I, think, I think it was like when I was trying to find out more about anime. Because I found, because I found out like during when I was watching it, it was like in call an anime from you know from from Japan and all that. That was when I first found out about anime. And what got me interested more into it was uh, it was back when I think it was like when I was looking up anime top list videos, so I could like top anime series, so I could actually go and watch them, you know, and. And you know, and it was mostly around Watch Mojo at the time, and I didn't really knew how best like, like a couple of their lists were at the time, because you know I was still new to anime. I watched their top ten anime series, and they had series like series series I know now that I, that I still love, that that or that I know of now. Like I, that, I think they have Pokemon on there. They have po Pokemon on there, which I used to watch a lot, which I'm most likely gonna watch because a friend of mine. That I also watch, actually watches it as well, and he's a huge fan. Uh, Mugetsu 420k, he's aw he's he's an awesome dude, and and uh, and uh, like they also had Kogios, they had Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, One Piece, Naruto. Um, I was about to say Hell Hell Helsing, but I I I don't think they ever had it on. I don't think they ever had Hell Hell. I don't think they did have Hell Helsing on there. I don't know. I need to go back and watch that video. Uh, they also had uh, what was that? Oh yeah, they also had Death Note on there, and the number and the number one was Full Metal Alchemist. So and after that, I watched Full Metal Alchemist. After that, which became like my second, the my my, my second. The second anime I've seen, and and man, man, and at the time, like when I got finished with Full Metal Alchemist, like depending, like depending at that time, I freaking loved Full Metal Alchemist. Like I didn't, I didn't, didn't even watch Brotherhood, and I thought it was like a ten out of ten series. I don't really give, give give a shit. The original series, in my my opinion, I find it the better series. That's just me, okay. Bro, bro, Brotherhood's awesome, but they rushed the first part so bad. <laughs> like I, I I just didn't I I just didn't like the way they ru that bones ru rushed it. I, I just didn't I, I just didn't like it, okay. I mean, yes, we want to get to the parts that we left off from the original series that should have happened. But just I was just I was just a bit I was just a bit you know there when it came to when it came to that stuff so so yeah I really enjoyed uh <clears throat> so yeah I really enjoyed uh that's how I really got into anime after Full Metal Alchemist I started watching more like I found out like after watching Mojo's videos after watching more of them I just found out like a lot of anime I haven't even watched. And I think it was like around the time, like during, I, I think during, uh, I think like spring 2015, which is at the time where I met, where I met Abia on YouTube, when I found like his Elf and Lee re review, I found out more about anime, like there was like a lot of minor ones that were, that were, no, that were like, faint, you know, you know, quite a bit popular that people liked. I, I mean, there were, and like there were some that were kind of there, like, 
on freaking Netflix. Like Heaven's Lost Property, Rosario, Rosario plus Vampire, those, those, those were on there. Along with, along with Death Note and Full Metal Alchemist, I think Nar Naruto got on there like sometime after I found out about that. I think Bleach was on, was on there. I, I know they're still on there to, to today too, but yeah. I think Puella, I think I think they have I think they have Ma Magi as well. And I think they have the Puella Magi Maka Magica movie on there as well. I, I think. It's been a while since I seen anime on Netflix, so yeah. Uh because I've been watching, you know, all the all that other stuff. You know, on you know, all that stuff. I'm I'm I've been watching on like different sources, you know what I mean? I I ain't say which web websites because, you know, secrecy <laughs> but yeah um but yeah i really enjoy yeah that's how i really got into anime got me more interested in an anime because of like finding out about like all like these things all off of youtube and all these you know people that are on youtube talk talk about these famous series and everything it, it was it was a really cool experience it, it was it was really cool to see, and I think it was actually, and I actually think it's, you know, I I thought it was awesome to see like there are like a lot more a animes out there that you know are not popular, but they're still, you know, they're some of them are still 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 good. Like I remember Pet Girl Slayer 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 Rosso. It's not as popular as like series like uh, Code Geass at, at least or something. You know, you know, like you know what I mean, but still pretty minorly pop popular. But I freaking love it to death. It's one of my favorites. But but yeah. So yeah, that's how I got interested in anime. And for Pedi and Oxo, who is my favorite male and female character in anime? Now, now I'm gonna go with females first. I'm gonna go with a fe with the female first because one, late ladies first. And two, it's gonna immediately be be like the I y'all probably already know my my fave favorite female character. Uh, but there is a lot of them I know of like like before this particular one. I mean, I mean, there's Riz Gremory from High School DxD. She's 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 an awesome character. Like if you were to remove the fan service stuff of of Riz Gremory from High School DxD. You would still love her as a character, like you know what I mean. Like people would still love her as a character, e even without the fan service stuff, the fan service parts of her in high in high school D D DxD. P people would still love 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 her. And uh, I love Mo Mo Moka Akashia from Rosario Plus Vampire. I actually thought she was an awesome character. I I can say I'm just gonna go with both 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 Mokas just because you know. I just thought they were equally as good, and and uh, damn! I just found out about that brute brutality. Damn. Okay, um, bang, that's what I was saying. Um, and uh, what what else? Shit. Um. Who else? Uh, oh yeah, there's Shion from Higarashi. Love that character. Orihime from Bleach. Winry Rockbell from Full Metal Al Alchemist. I really, I really like her character. You know, just I really enjoy all these other females in in anime, and they're just really awesome characters. But the one I find that like, like the best one in my opinion has to be Shauna from Shekugan no Shauna. Man, I freaking love this character the minute she appeared. Like like the like her own up uh, like her introduction has to be one of the most badass introductions there is. I mean like boom, like she like she just took out two freaking two freaking denizens just no problem, because you know she's she's been dealing with that for like I don't know how frick freaking long, because she's at least like immortal with the whole shit, you know, like uh, in terms of age, immortal, not really immortal, in a way like where she cannot really die. Just just saying, okay, uh, 
just throwing it out there. And but Sean, I mean, like, like if you and also if you look back, like if you look from the beginning of Shekugan no Shauna, like in in the first arc in season one and in the first season, and you look at her and like the at, at the end of season three, which is, which is the final season. You see how much of a character, like how much she has grown into uh, as a character, and like she's just, I mean, she's just one of one of the best characters in my personal opinion. She's one of my favorite characters of all time in an anime. Just, just awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there because if y'all haven't seen Shogun Gono Show, y'all probably have no idea. What I'm talking about, but 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 if y'all have, at least have seen season one, which is where Shauna has most of her development. You y'all y'all will know how how awesome of a character she is. So I I, I freaking love her character, character man. Like I just cannot help it. I mean, Rhea is, is close. I mean, she she she's at least. Almost no number one for me because you know how awesome of a character Rhea's Grimmery is, like you know, you know to me anyway. But I I I, I just can't help with Shauna. I mean I I just don't I just know I just have no idea why. I mean she she's funny here and there. She's she's a badass. She's still a badass now, even with like the development she's gone through, and just. Plain awesome, in my opinion. Okay, just gonna throw it out there. But if I had to pick my favorite male anime character, I thought I thought about long and hard about this. I mean, there's there's Light Yagami from from Death Note. There's there's Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, like there's like a lot of characters I just love. I mean. Man, I mean, like I say, Edward Elric for Formal Al 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 Alchemist. Uh, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Uh, Gohan from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super. You know, he's an awesome character, character on his own. Even after that time skip bullshit, we all understand why he's like that. You know what I mean? And. I mean, also Goku for Dragon Dragon Ball Z. He's an awesome character because we all see how much he's grown and everything. And just man, like there's a lot of characters I freaking love. Also, like uh, Yato for Noragami, love his character. Um, a a Alucard from Helsing, fucking badass. <laughs> just. Uh, if I had to pick which which one, man, it'd be Ichigo Kurosaki from from Bleach. Yes, I know he's kind of most likely the reason why the the, the he's kind of most likely the cause of the generic uh ge ge generic uh, male character uh kind of because you know there, but Ichigo does have a pers pers personality and. Like he, like he has like a di different mood at school, but he's you know himself at you know outside of school or like at least at home and everything, and and uh, just he's just and he I just like how his name is kind of it it means protector and and I liked how his development in the substitute arc was just. Man, like he couldn't protect that one person that, that that revolved around his family, and that got him bad, and I mean bad. Like it was just, dude, and uh, just, Like it was that like like it was bad for Ichigo the least, and I loved like like his urge to protect literally everyone, like everyone from Hollows and everything. It was just, it was just really cool to see from Ichigo, cause you know that's his character. He's he wants to protect even strangers that he doesn't know from Hollows, cause you know he doesn't want them 
absorbing everything. You know what I mean? Like he, like he would, like even if you barely even know him, he would, he would go and rescue your ass, even if it cost him his life. Like, bruh. I mean, that, that's what happened to Soul Society Arc when Rukia got captured, and 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 all, it was all because he owed a debt to her, and because he, because she changed his life the way he is. And, and he wants to, and he wanted to stay as a soul re reaver, and he 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 owes her for all of that, and and that that that's mostly that's mostly why he, you know he you know he decided to go and rescue her, and everything, and that that's just what makes an that's just, that's just what makes Ichigo an awesome character, and you get to see how much he's evolved. Like like you like if you're up to to the final arc in, in the manga, because we're some dumbass reason we're still not getting the animated version. We still haven't got our an the animated version of the Thousand Year Blood War arc, which I hope Period get, get gets to it after Naruto, hopefully, uh, hopefully, and uh, <clears throat> just I really hope we get and just I, I just love Ichigo's character. Like I, I'm always for supporting. Like I like when there's like an epic moment, I'm like. Fuck yeah, Ichigo! Get his ass! You know, like you know what I mean? Just I fucking love Ichigo that much. Like he's a like he's my favorite male anime character, and and he and he's probably my favorite character in anime. Period. Maybe just the development he goes through, like not only as like a character, but also as like a human. Like also like how much he's evolved as like how much he how much strong he's gotten. Awesome character. I mean, now it. I mean, because now he's got he's got his true Zanpakuto, and I cannot wait to see his new Bankai. Oh man, I cannot wait to see that shit. I'm pretty sure that 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 is coming soon. I cannot I cannot wait for for that shit. So yeah, Pazian Oxo, thank thank you for the questions, and now we're now we're at Abia's question and. His is. Oh, I'm trying to get over here because you know he's. Cause he and I have been kind of talking on, uh, you know, sending each other messages on Twitter recently. What? Okay, from Avia. What are your top three bad guys who are so cool you like them? And if I had to go in number three, it would be. Oh fuck! I just real. Okay, num number three would be Lizalot from Ele uh, from from Eleven Eyes. The reason why I thought she was cool because, like, okay, here's the thing. I really loved. Uh, I really, really, I really thought she was really cool because I thought she was like, like she, she basically fooled basically the main characters, or at least the main cast, to thinking she was just an innocent girl named L L Lizette, and. Just boom, like, like one of those crystal things, and there, boom, she just free and she just does once more for her power, so she can take over the world and, and destroy it, and trying to finish what, what what the love of her what what the love of her life started like like a very long ass time ago. I freaking loved Lizette, like I freaking loved Lizette as like a cool character, like plus like. Like they can barely, like barely, in the characters in the climax could barely fucking touch her, man. And like they, like they could barely do shit. Like she was that, she was that pretty damn powerful. And like for what, I, I'm just trying to, th I'm literally trying to think from what I remember of from Eleven Eyes, because it's been like almost a year now since I actually watched it. To be honest, still, still, still a kick-ass series. One of my all-time favorite an animes. St st it's still in my top ten, at the least. Um, but here, but here, uh, Liz a lot. I really, I really thought she was a cool villain, and she kind of like, th like this is a theory that we kind of thought. I mean, this guy Connor Jacks actually thought thought of, and I mean this uh, guy that I knew of, uh, Connor Jacks. We thought like uh, because why like why you Yuko was like this in, in the series was because like she was probably taking that as advantage because you know 
Yuko was vulnerable because of this thing that happened during the series and during the series and it was and Li and Lizalot and the crystal took advantage of it at the time and tried to have her do this stuff and it, it, it was really cool like but then again I, I'm gonna go back and rewatch the series just to be sure about it just saying but yeah but yeah okay uh but yeah, let, let, let's lot number three. No, number two has to be father from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The reason why is because at first when he was like first revealed like second half, like halfway through Brotherhood, motherfucker man, he like, like he greeted Al and Ed like they like he were like they like their guests. Like he was actually happy to see him because you know he was like Hoheims, you know, chill children all that like. He was like, oh damn, he had he had kids, oh shit. Like he had like that attitude. Like you never really expect that for like a villain a lot. I and I also thought he was kind of unique in a way. And he was a really cool character. I really li liked him at first. Like he and he just got he's uh, he just got better as a villain. I actually thought it was really cool. He kind of turned a bit more younger. Cause it, cause he looked a lot like Hohenheim and where Elric's father today but a bit more wider and all all that you know what I mean like his hair and all that is just white it's still it's still like that but he's turned like a lot more younger for some for some reason I don't know I have no idea why but but yeah it's still really cool and I really I really enjoyed uh and I really enjoyed that uh, a father like and when he didn't need these people anymore, he decided to sacrifice them. Like people, like people, like, like when he told him, he told told all these people that he was gonna try to claim immortality with a philosopher's stone by the, with this plan of his. And they and they didn't know that he that they were gonna be part a part of it. Eh, kind of in a way for some reason. But he kind of, but I don't know what really happened at first. But he kind of manipulated them. I don't know. It's been since tw since summer twenty fourteen since so I actually seen Brotherhood. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been over a year. But yeah, you know, I've been watching a lot of animes, and I you know I have my family and all that, and, and you know, you know, vi 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 video games and all that shit. You know what I mean? But yeah. Still a really awesome series, but but yeah, Father, he's just a really awesome character, and I really, I really thought he was like a cool villain, and he was a like during like the everyone versus Father fight, he was like way too OP. Like people had no idea. Like everyone was giving him everything they got, and they and he was still standing like and healing up because of the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, ability like inside of him because he had like a full out philosopher's stone in him but and everything just it was really cool to see and I'm like damn son and just you know like it took a lot though man it took a lot to take this motherfucker down like he was like the fucking Sosuke Aizen of fucking Full Metal Alchemist because it takes a lot to take this guy down just really just really cool you know I mean now if now number one has to be a tie with now me and AB actually said that are because we kinda said like anime and manga villains which ten technically Liz a lot is and so is father and Sosuke Aizen yeah number one is a tie with Sosuke Aizen and and a tie with you with a tie with uh Yuha Bach. Both from Bleach. Man, I both thought I mean I mean in my opinion Yuha Bach is a is a better villain, but man I actually thought but man I thought that uh I actually thought that, uh, but when it comes when it comes to like, um, in terms of coolness, they're technically tied to me. And 
to, to me anyway. Because Sosuke Aizen started out like he took out literally Kama Kama more still in his still in his Bankai state and he, he and he wasn't really injured or not not really all that much unlike Ichigo which was understandable at the end of Soul Sai arc. And just took literally no hits at all. Just got out of there, did, did did what he had to do with no scratches on him at, at all to wake up Mundo with Gein and Kaname. It was still a pretty awesome uh, way to like, really cool way to kick him off. He also, he also looked really cool with that new uh, style he had, you know, that new look, that new look, look, look of his. And it's really cool to see him like that. And also, he's just way too fucking OP. Like, in the manga now, the amount of spiritual power, the amount of spiritual pressure, or spiritual energy, also known as Riatsu in the manga, is way too fucking much. Like, even if he just powers up, he just, it'd be enough to fucking blast some at, at, in the sky and possibly hit, hit, hit hitting something that's floating. And land straight down to, to, to the Soul Society, just right right now in the manga. Just damn, like he's that fucking OP man. Just yeah, just way too fucking OP. Like I I, I don't know what he's gonna do in the manga right now. He's still he's still tied to that chair for some dumbass reason. But again. For some for some reason he's still not taking out you know he's he's gonna be an ally but then again he did try to take everyone else so I, I don't blame him like keep him in that fucking chair so so yeah um so yeah I don't really blame the characters for doing that but okay here we go so who so yeah so yeah I Eisen He's a really cool, awesome villain, and I love his Zomp Octo. Like he can manipulate what people are seeing, and it led to someone almost getting killed. And even if they were aware of this, they they still fucking lost. And that that's what's really cool about Eisen. It, that, that, that's what I thought was really cool about him. So yeah, um, so yeah. Now we move on to Yuha Bak, and the reason why I find him as a better villain, but also equally as cool as Aizen, is because dude leaves a bunch of Quincy's. Leaves a bunch of Quincy's to the Soul Society and kills over a thousand Soul Reapers. About a thousand, and possibly more Soul Reapers in the Sarete, and literally just in a matter of seconds. That 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 is how you start a fucking war. Like, damn, I'm not gonna lie. Like that is how you start a fucking arc, or at least start the final arc of Bleach. And that is also how you start a fucking war. Like, just damn, son. Like I'm telling you. And plus, during this fight, like. And yu -Haw is way too fucking OP. Like, more OP than Aizen at this point, mostly. Because... Like, like right now he took out the strongest Soul Reaper in the Soul Society. Without any scratches, no problem, nothing. And he had, and he had a strategy. He... He, he defeated the captain of Squad Zero, the Royal the Royal, the Royal Guard division of the Soul Palace for the for the for the Soul King. Still won. And he and we got, got to know more of his more of his more of his abilities. And he's just again way too OP. And then after that at, shortly after that fight. He gets more fucking overpowered to a level above a god. Like he is at the power of fucking Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku at this point. 
Like, bruh! Like, we haven't even seen the full extent of his power, and this guy's just get it, getting stronger. Like, I, I feel like at the end of this arc, we're gonna, we're gonna see Yuha hot, like, at the level of fu a fucking Whis or, or something. You, like, from Dragon Ball Z, like, Whis from Dragon, from Dragon Ball, from Dragon Ball Z slash Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Ball Super. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like he's gonna, gonna be at the level that, at that point. Okay? I'm just saying, cause the 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 guy just is just way too fucking overpowered at this point. I feel like he's gonna be at the level of Whis at the end of this fucking arc. I just feel like it, cause we don't even know all of his abilities yet, and just it's just fucking crazy. Like, wow. Like, and we all know Ichigo is gonna have. A problem with this dude because he like even if he does release his true bonkai like it ain't gonna be enough to fucking take take him out unless unless it unless Ichigo is like that strong which, which is because which is most likely why he's uh you know not really getting into a lot of fights in his arc like he hasn't really had a fight since an official fight since like that really short fight against Yuha at the beginning of the arc. Like that was like the last fight he ever had. Plus plus that one Quincy at the beginning of the arc and wait 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 Gomundo, but it was it was a cool fight. Not 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 really spectacular at the beginning of the arc. Still really cool. But yeah, Yuha Bach man, I cannot wait for his true stuff, man. I, I cannot wait. I cannot fucking wait till we get to Ichigo versus Yuha Bach. I cannot wait. This is gonna be some kick-ass shit. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys have no idea because this dude is too fucking strong, and he and I in in any fight he barely has any problem, and he always keeps his fu fucking cool in, in his fights. Just he he always finds a way to keep keep it cool because you know he he knows he's gonna win. Because he knows how strong he is. I mean, he's he's kind of like Goku, but kind of the opposite. Where Goku doesn't really get far, fucked over because of how he knows how strong he is, and he's and he's too proud of it. Yuha knows how strong he is, and and he still fucking wins. Like that's how overpowered this guy is. Like that's how that's how overpowered this guy is, man. I I, I cannot wait till his fight against. Uh, fucking Ichigo, man. Like that's gonna be some shit. Oh man, I do hope Kim Pachi get get get, get a good at him, cause you know, Yuha did kind of screw 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 him up when they first fought. I think it was like when Yuha officially arrived during at, at at the beginning at the beginning of the arc. But yeah, still really cool, man. I, I cannot wait, man. Like. Yeah, just I just cannot wait. Like y'all have no idea how how excited I am right fucking now, man. <laughs> like yeah, but yeah, uh, but yeah. Yuha Bach tie with Sosuke Aizen. Like how cool these guys guys are. Like like the amount of, like the amount of coolness that they have. It, it's e it's equally as much to the to Aizen and uh and uh you, you know. It's, it's equally as much as uh these two like like they're like it's equally, it's equally as much to these two both Aizen and Yuhabak. so yeah so yeah that that was literally the last question I I, I have and thank you Avia for the question and I hope and I hope and I hope all of you guys enjoyed it especially the ones that gave me the questions like the video if y'all enjoyed it subscribe if y'all want to see more be be sure to comment. And comment below for what y'all think. If any of y'all are new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And uh Shit, I'm trying to pull 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 this fucking fatality off because I've not used Kano. I barely use use his ass. Okay, there we go. And that's fucking nasty. But also uh Oh shit. Savage. But yeah, um, no, so yeah, 
And also, if y'all want to comment, like I am going to be continuing these Q and A videos because I think Q and As are pretty art. I thought I think Q and As are fun. So if any of y'all want to uh, leave a leave like a, a question uh, for like the next Q and A video, be sure to comment down below for like the for like a question, and then like either in this video or if you're like gonna do a question in any other video, be sure to be sure to put Q, hashtag Q and A and put down the question so I'll know in, like in that comment just so I'll know that uh it'll be for the Q&A video so yeah and uh, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like the video if y'all enjoy it, subscribe if y'all want to see more and and comment, below, don't comment down below what y'all think and if y'all new to the channel if y'all want to see more be sure to subscribe for more and again I hope you guys enjoyed it and we guys enjoy a Q and A video now, and I will see y'all next time, which is most likely gonna be the, uh, it's most likely gonna be the Mass the Mass Effect walk 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 through I'm talking about. Survivor out.